Hi everybody, um, I am here today to show you how to repot ponytail palm and I have had this particular plant for, just to show all of it, I know not everything fits, I've had it for five years now and when I purchased it, just to give you a little bit of reference, I repotted it only once and when I first purchased it, the top of the leaves were maybe here. So it's grown substantially, right? And it's been in this same pot for five years, for more than five years now. So this is a seven inch pot. And this particular specimen here has multiple, multiple trunks, as you can see. See if you can see that. As you can see, it has four separate ponytails, if you want to call it that, um, instead of typically one that you normally see. So the reason I wanted to repot this is because I want it to continue growing, um, to continue growing healthily. And also, this is terribly root bound at this point. Um, so what I found was I couldn't keep up with the watering and that was one indication to me that the roots are tight right in the pot and I wanted to give it a bigger home so that it can continue growing and you know it's fine to have a plant that's pot bound to a certain extent but um, eventually it needs a new home and so this has been five years so it's time right and I'm gonna show you guys I actually um, the inside of this pot, it's just a, a very smooth glazed ceramic pot. Um, it's, it's very smooth, so actually this, it came out pretty easily. I watered it earlier just to, um, to prepare it for repotting. So take a look at the root ball, look at that root ball. Tons of roots, okay? It's about, it's about time to repot at this point, right? So you can see nice, white, healthy roots, right? And what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to loosen the root ball. Don't be afraid of this part. So many people are scared of, of doing this, but this is a critical part of repotting your plants. And when the roots are this constricted, you don't just want to plop it in, in a new pot, right? In a new bigger pot you need to loosen the root ball a little bit so that the new roots can grow into the new soil, especially when, when it's this tight. Um, I mean, look at that. It's, it's, look how tight that is. If your plant is not super, super root bound, you can probably get away with it um, with not loosening the root ball, but with something like this, you're gonna have to. So don't cringe, but I'm gonna show you how I loosen my root ball. Some people, when they do this, I, th I think they go a little bit, a little bit overboard and take off, take out all the soil, all the old soil. I don't personally think that's necessary. Um, I've almost never done that, maybe in a handful of cases, but, um, but really I don't typically, typically do that um, as long as you root, loosen your root ball a little bit. So let me show you. So I'm just going to grab it. I like to start at the bottom and I just kind of grab that right and I'll just go around circle it around there <laughs> and I'll just loosen it here gently pull don't be afraid you're not gonna kill your plant I promise I'm just gonna take my fingers and just kind of gently pull that way okay and just simply go around okay all right see that so let's take a look at it so far that's nice right um, now i'm going to just work on the sides a bit I'm just going to stick my fingers in there, loosen the sides. It might sound scary to you guys, but don't worry, okay? OK. 
Okay. I'm getting tired here holding this plant. <laughs> All right. Take a look at that. Actually, you know what? There isn't terribly much soil left um, here. I'm going to just loosen it up here. Okay. And that's about as far as I'm going to go. So let me show you the final, final product. Okay. That's pretty, pretty good, I'd say. Pretty good. Pretty loosened up here, okay? So I'm just gonna set this to the side. <laughs> pot that it came out of, this is a seven inch pot, and I'm going to place it in a bigger pot. Now, this seems a ton bigger, but it's really only an inch bigger in diameter. This is about an eight inch pot. Although the bottom, right, there's more room at the bottom. It's a little bit deeper, which is fine, okay? So this is this is the new pot that I'm going to go ahead and now put what that in. You have in. to remember when you repot a plant or place it in a bigger pot, especially succulents, especially succulents, right? You don't want to choose a pot that is much, much bigger, right? Than, than the old pot. So mine is mine is quite a bit deeper, right? Um, but I want I wanted that um, because you know this plant has a pretty pretty vigorous root system. It's only an inch diameter bigger than the old pot. Okay, so don't don't place it in a giant giant pot, right? Uh, bigger than bigger than the old one because what will happen is your soil will take a lot longer to dry, right? And for succulents, you do want the soil to dry out as quickly as you can, or in a reasonable time, I, I should say, right? So that's number one. Um, number two is you want to have a good soil mix, and I'm going to show you the soil mix that I'm using in this particular case. I just mix some up. The soil mix that I use, so I use two parts of a succulent soil, and I will include a link in in the profile of the kind that I that I like to use. Two parts succulent soil and one part quarter inch pumice. So here's here's what the pumice looks like. It's basically volcanic rock. Um, and I ran out of pumice so um, I made one batch two part succulent soil and one part pumice and then I made another batch two part succulent soil and one part perlite. So I'm hoping this, will, this should be enough for, for the new pot. So the reason I like to add extra stuff to the soil is because I don't like mixes as is normally, um, as they come out of, the, out of the bag. I do like to add something extra to improve the drainage. So whether it's a succulent or you know a tropical leafy plant, right? Um, for succulents, I tend to like adding pumice, um, which, is, which does amazing things for drainage. And for leafy tropicals, I like to add perlite. It's fine for this too. Add something. So that's my motto, right? Add something to, to increase the drainage, um, especially for succulents. But I do it for everything. I do it for everything. So for succulents, I like the two to one ratio. So two parts succulent soil and one part something like either pumice or perlite. Um, and then you, you're going to have great drainage as a result of that. Okay, so let's pot. Let's pot the plant up right now. Okay, so the first thing I like to do, make sure your pot has a drainage hole. Okay, it needs a drainage hole. Make sure you have that. <laughs> and I like to take a broken clay pot and place it curvy side down like this, right over the drainage hole. And I've always done that. I know some people don't do it at all. Everyone has their own way. I like to do that. Um, it helps just keep the soil in and still lets the water through, right? Okay, so next what I'm going to do is add, add some soil. Okay, let's go ahead and add a little bit of soil here. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit, a little bit at a time. But then, after you add some soil, 
I want to test the level, right? Um, I want to make sure that I have enough soil in there um, to keep the plant at a reasonable level. So um, here we go. Okay, that's a little bit, that's too shallow, so I'm gonna add a little bit more. Add a little bit more there. You wanna keep the level, of the soil level where it was at before, right? And plus, um, here we go. I think that's almost, almost good. Add a little bit more. Okay. Got a little bit more there. And I'm finally good here. I think I'm pretty good. There we go. Seems good, right? Okay, so I'm happy. I'm happy with the level now, right? So now I'm going to go ahead and just fill in, fill in the rest of it. And I love doing this outside. I don't, I don't do projects like this inside because it's, it's way too messy. So, um, and you shouldn't, you shouldn't really be repotting in the middle um, of the winter, you know, when it's cold, if you can help it. Um, the best time to repot your plants is in the spring and summer. And I'm just gonna keep adding my soil mix. And as I'm adding it in, I'm just, pressing it down as I go on the sides because you want firm contact with the soil and the roots and you don't want any air pockets. That's all folks, that's all you have to do. Um, so the critical part, again, is loosening that root ball, right, number one. Number two, making sure that you have a really nicely well-drained soil, especially for succulent plants like, like this plant. It is not a, a palm, despite the common name of ponytail palm, right? It is a succulent plant. So I use two parts succulent soil and one part perlite or pumice. Um, I mix a little bit of both. And number three, you don't want to use a pot that is terribly bigger than than your old pot um, go one inch one or two inches at the most bigger in diameter um, although this pot this pot that I chose is quite a bit bigger deeper but that's fine um, because this plant does have a, a deeper more vigorous root system um, so it's okay okay so last thing I'm going to do is give it a nice watering and then we're all done give it a good watering don't be afraid to water thoroughly Okay, I'm just gonna keep watering here until water escapes the drainage hole. Okay, and it's coming through the drainage holes here. I have, I have a tray, um, or saucer I should say underneath. Water's starting to come through the drainage holes. And that's all. That's all folks. Hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more and don't forget to visit ohiotropics.com for all your houseplant care needs and be sure to follow me on Instagram at ohiotropics as well. Have a good day everybody.